Start by opening a 3D file. Select the right file format. Use the Layers panel on the right side to change layer characteristics. By creating a section view in the Properties panel, you get a closer segmented look at your model. Selecting Surface and Lines in the Properties panel will bring up a wireframe. If you select Points instead of Lines, you'll get a point cloud. You can choose whether to linearize colors and enable or disable a visible shadow. The back face checkbox will allow you to hide or show surfaces on the back of two-sided components. From the filter menu, you can add effects like noise, distort, or pixelate. I'm demonstrating a pointillate filter here, but you can use any of the filters that Photoshop is good at.
After positioning this new layer, you can copy and paste it to make a row of buttons. Check out the results back in the OBJ file. If it looks crooked, go back to the PSD tab and reposition that layer. You can create another button by right-clicking on that layer and duplicating it. Then I'm merging that layer down. Here's how it all looks. I've set the layer to multiply in the layer panel to darken the pocket. After checking the 3D view, you can decide if the size is right. If you want, you can adjust it in the PSB tab. Select the color regions with a magic wand tool and make the texture layer visible again. Use the selected area as a mask on this layer. From the Select drop-down menu, go to Modify and select the feather effect with a radius of one pixel to make the selection smoother. Designed and 3D printed using the features you've just been introduced to. You'll soon get the hang of using Photoshop filters and effects to create spectacular 3D printed models. Enjoy your Photoshop and 3D printing journey.